<laughs> All right, guys and gals, welcome back to the channel. Long time, no see, or I guess not no see. I was, I was in the video, the last video, right? She was in the last video. Yeah. Since you guys have really done so much for us, we do like giving back, and we will be giving away something that we think that you would like. <laughs> this is so not natural. I am out of the uh, opening YouTube videos game. I'm in mom mode and I Finn is napping and I'm waiting for her to get up. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll pop up. And this be like... guy, let me tell you, I <laughs> asked him what exactly to say and every single time I asked him, he tells me something different to say. Because <laughs> I just go off the top. You already saw how I like to work. I said to pop up. Yeah, but you didn't give me the chance to pop up before you said watch to the end. They can see you. We're on point <laughs> five over here. They just, definitely can see you. It doesn't matter. Just go. Just go. <laughs> All right. Just action. go. We're... This Friday, besides this um, Mario Party Superstars Nintendo Switch game, we're also gonna be giving away this Nintendo Switch system. All right, so watch till the end of the video to find out how you can win this. <laughs> is, this is this good enough? Back again. So today I'm actually going to be moving all of the Christmas decorations from the storage unit to my house into the shed that I just finished building. And I'm gonna, I had a plan to use uh, big washers, but I have these really fat top screws that actually I ended up getting a whole bunch of wood for free from a marina. And I used a lot of it on my half pipe. I used it on different projects and these were all in it. So I took all these out and saved them. So I might as well use them. So basically what I'm gonna do, this is the shed. And this should be able to fit everything Christmas related. So see, I did one row here just to test. So I'm probably gonna do six rows of these all along and that should really hold it to down. I'm not assuming that this is gonna be completely permanent, this shed, but I do think it would. it's gonna last five years at least. I mean, it's waterproof, pretty much beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. It was actually suctioning down to the support. If that one hit it. Might have to try one right here. Damn, that didn't hit it either. Uh-oh. We're gonna have a problem, Houston. Yeah, let it ride. It doesn't really have to be suctioned down to the support. Yeah, that's a fancy cat, right? Yes. Alright, let's see what this is. What caught my eye here is this little Easter garden. Look at that, a vape pen. Load that oh, up with yeah. some crimp and you'll That's be on the way. Ones. Just some loose batteries hanging out like that. This is a cool little garden. That is, yeah, uh, somebody would probably grab that. They paid $34 for this, only in 2021. Somebody can get it for a dollar. I mean, I might just put that out for my Easter decorations. Yeah, yeah. This table I was looking at though. Just some, just some uh, paps. There's a nice shelf too I seen um This is actually was a nice table but it's pretty much ruined now. It's all banged up. So a little trash picking to start the day off and then we're gonna head over to the storage unit and load all the Easter stuff. What's up dude? I don't know yet. You tell me. What are you doing today? Unboxing your uh storage unit. Little unboxing little, it? Yeah, unboxing it, yeah. Alright. This is the unboxing of the storage unit. Unboxing. 
box and let's get it. Look at this though. So I did hard. work on this, huh? Yeah. What are you doing with that uh the Grand Victor trophy? <laughs> the Grand Victor? I could sell that. He's gonna, he's gonna buy that. Now nah, somebody might. Uh I I could sell it maybe locally. Oh, this is cool. I didn't know you Cause had shipping this. it would be nuts. That's really cool. Right? Yeah, I didn't know you had that. I set that aside for myself so we could play that one day. Yeah, we should. It's brand new yeah. too. Oh shit. It just is the coolest clue I ever seen. I've never seen it. I've never seen any clue. I didn't know there was different ones. No, I, I mean I knew that they had like, you know, every year or whatever they'll release a new one, but I never knew they had a book one. Yeah, that's wild. I never seen that. It looks like the Bible almost. So here's what we got going on. You gotta get all the way up. Snow right? babies. Christmas, Christmas. Christmas. So all this stuff, all those totes, all this stuff, and potentially, I don't know about all the snow babies, but definitely some of them are going to go into the April 5th auction. So what I want to do is bring them back to the house and start categorizing everything at home so I don't have to come here every time and post it to the auction in the next like week, week and a half. So I'm going to bring it home and store it in the shed that I just built. The Von Zoy. We do have a lot of Christmas stuff, dude. Enough for a whole auction. That's what's the yeah. that's the beauty of it, though. Did you ever check this out? Because then anyone who no, I never looked at that. You should bring that home. Because then anyone who wants a Christmas, you know what I mean? It, it'll kind of make them be like, all right, well, this whole auction's Christmas, so like, I'm not here for Christmas, so I might as well not even yeah. bother. But then anyone else, they won't have to wait around for the items they want because it'll all be Christmas. be used it's just an actual box it doesn't look like snow babies you don't think Maybe. i can guarantee you this is the snow baby it might be yes yeah. that's nice though that is nice see that'll go on the auction that'll go good on the auction what is that I think there might be more of those things right yeah they're more snow babies is it? There's like six of them. I think not. QVC. Here, pop that out of there. I feel like we did look at this though before. I feel like we did. Maybe there's more. Yep. No, these are just like snow houses. Like almost like knockoff brand. Huh. But vintage too. You know, Pretty cool. You know, it's vintage by the green thing on the bottom. Like That's what I was thinking, yeah. All right, should we bring it down? Should we bring it downtown, or you want to bring it down, or what? You're getting your ass. Out. How heavy is it? I don't, it, it, I don't know. It's not bad, but this is all Christmas stuff. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Wild. Get up to your cats. This off. This is the Christmas auction. Is going to be so lit. <laughs> It's gonna be a lot of stuff. Think about all this. What time is it starting? Same time, 3 p.m. Yeah, we might be going to like 8, 9 o'clock with all this stuff. Might Maybe all to. night long. Yeah, it might have to. As long as I ain't See, I said Christmas drip. I even knew that when we first put it there. You predicted it. I predicted it. <laughs> these are all ornaments, I think. We might even be able to leave these right here. Yeah. Look at this. Lifesavers Christmas ornament 1993. He's rolling it onto the back of the truck. I don't need the hell out of that thing right now. <laughs> 92. So here's what I'm doing. Well, these might be worthy of their own lot because I've never seen anything like that before. Little Snoopy. Avon. Christmas ornament. Is Avon still a thing? Uh, I think it is. They just don't go door to door no more. No, they're, I mean, you're not allowed to do that anymore. There's too many freak shows in the world to be doing that. The, uh, that electric company I was telling you about. Yeah, but they're not legally allowed to do that because the guy that came to my house and I was like, you can't be knocking on the neighbor's door when their, when they're when their parents too. aren't home. No, it wasn't a, it was a different company. No, I'm talking about the one I was telling you about. But uh, here's what we're doing. The uh, Christmas amount of Christmas stuff that we have is overwhelming. So I'm just taking pictures of like 
so everything in this box, right, will be one lot. All this stuff, come in closer and just show some of it. You know, vintage ornaments, the Avon thing, 101 Dalmatians from McDonald's, I guess. Snoopy. So everything in this box is going to be three village in. I think that's probably in Long Island. And this is a moth, right? Yeah, it's not a butterfly. Well, might be a butterfly. So this box right here, starting at $1. That's how we're going to do it, how we always do the auctions. And then we just keep going. So luckily I have found this box of different bags and everything. So I can just, even just this bag alone is cool. Yeah, depend on, yeah, there you go. Put that in there. Too bad we don't have those uh, popcorn things, the uh, popcorn shipping. So I'm taking pictures of this stuff and then I'll be able to post it online uh, to the site. All right, so basically everything's loaded up. Uh, for the, that, we'll just leave that for now. Because okay. there's still, it's just the reality is you can only do so much in one auction, so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we might even have too much for the office. That's what I'm thinking, too. Okay, I've been putting this off because it's such a mind-bending task. In the storage unit I bought in the beginning of the year, there was about 300 Snow Baby figurines inside there. Probably around 12 boxes of Snow Babies, just like this. I boxed them up. Well, I didn't box them up. They're already boxed up. I had them in storage, and now I brought them back here to the house. They're in the shed that I just put together. And I'm going to bring them out and set them all up on this table. They might not even fit. And this table right here that the GoPro's on. And then maybe another table in front if we need it. Let's do it. Snow Baby Hall. I don't want to... I can't ship them all. It's too much. It's, it's too much. So if I can just sell them all in a lot, that's what I want to do. The size of this collection is actually insane. So a lot of those that I put on that corner of the table are in really good condition. And then there's some that have a lot of fading as if they might have been in a house that had smoke or a fire potentially even. But these people spent thousands and thousands of dollars on snow babies, for real. They're cool, but I don't see what you would really do with this many. And then this container here, this mixture of snow babies and other things like this big Christmas tree that has nothing to do with snow babies. So the Christmas tree. So even after all this time, I'm still pulling stuff out from the storage unit that I didn't know that we even had. Wild looking brass hanging. Uh, well, this is just bells, like sleigh bells, literally. A whole bag of sleigh bells. Wow. And of course, more snow babies. See, these ones are not in good condition at all. Well, they're okay, they're not broken, but they're so brown compared to like these two. And then also what was in this box as well was a whole nother stack of gaming manuals, which I'll definitely put in the auction. American Gangster. This is just a book about the movie. What I'm gonna do is do an auction for the Christmas stuff, not the Snow Babies though. Those are getting sold locally, I can't ship those. Christmas auction, and then I'm gonna do a storage madness auction, which is gonna be just random items all from storage. Well, mixture of storage and elsewhere. This is trash now. We're still unloading. Look at these things. Put it below this table, because it's gonna end up we got more than half still in the boxes. Whoa. Wow, that's cool. Getting into it. Winding round words in my head. So 
so here it is. This is all the good ones, at least, on the table here. You can't even distinguish the difference. It just likes a sea of snow babies. An absolute sea of snow babies. So all these ones that I'm gonna lot together, there's actually about 200, maybe more, because I just counted like this here and it was about 50. And then you gotta figure 50, 50, 50. I would say there's like 250. Maybe I should just count them all. All right, so this box I never got to yet. These are all empty, sadly. He kept a spider in here. That's crazy. Dr. H. S. Thatcher, Tennessee. Little vintage glass bottle. Steel ledge. It's got some quarters in here. That's about five bucks. Is what's this collection of? strange items i'd have to get into that more yes. visa olympic art 1992 some pins and stuff like that i could probably condense all this into this container pretty easily sometimes i'm just doing some work now i'm wrapping up everything from the now i have to wrap it all back up after i took it all out so recently i've gotten a message a few different messages of what's the secret to success or how can i make a quick buck or, you know, share some secrets with me. There is no secret. In America, anyone can make it. Anybody can be successful. I guess making it is the wrong term, but anyone can be successful doing almost anything. You just have to never stop working. It's Sunday. And yeah, I spent time with my family today. We've been here at the house, but I did not stop working since I got up. And it is... It's like 7, 7 p.m. I think. And I'm still going to probably put in a few hours more, at least another hour. I don't take weekends off. I don't take days off. I can, I could. I just don't though. I, I hardly ever, I haven't gone a day without doing some type of work in at least five years. And I'm not saying I never took off time to go on a vacation or go here or go there, but I've never gone one day without editing, filming, posting or organizing, picking up items, or just literally all those things. So like I get restless when I don't do stuff, which is a good thing. It can also be a bad thing, but the secret to success for everyone is to never stop working. It's kind of a grim reality, but if you like what you do though, it's not that bad. You know what me and Sammy were doing earlier? We opened up a whole bunch of boxes of stuff from the storage unit. Technically that's work because we were getting work done. But I thoroughly enjoy that. So I'm not gonna say I thoroughly enjoy packing up 300 snow babies, but I don't mind it. It's not that bad. I feel like my pack job is a lot better than theirs. You know, I'm using the same material. I do think though, that there's one of two situations. They had to get out of the house that they were in fast or a company, other people that weren't the owners of the items packed a lot of the stuff. It just doesn't feel like it was packed in a way of somebody that cared about the items. There's magazines mixed with trash, mixed with video games, mixed with collectibles, antiques, jewelry, coins, military items, all together, smashed all together in, in boxes stacked on top of each other. It had to have been multiple people's lifelong collections of items in reality, because there's just so much. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep packing this stuff. I'm also putting the snow babies into totes, plastic containers, not cardboard boxes. If they would have done that to begin with, I don't think really any of them would have broke. But putting very breakable stuff packaged half-ass in cardboard on top of other boxes, on top of other boxes, on top of other boxes was a fail. But I mean, they never recovered the items. So to them, I guess it doesn't really matter. I definitely could have made more money if everything was not broken. Cause not only were snow babies broken, but a lot of really cool fantasy collectibles were smashed. This little one. Fly with me, says it on the inside. So these are really, really cool. 
and I can see what makes them so collectible. It's just wild that you would buy all of these and then I guess that happens to everyone and everything they own eventually. It's more just sad than anything. I wonder if they displayed all these in one place. That would be crazy. If you just had big shelves with just all the snow babies everywhere. And it's about to go right back in. You better watch out. to figure out how to get the big ones into that box. So I have three containers of snow babies. One, two, third one out there. Plus the secondary snow baby collection, which will probably take up two containers if I even wrap them up again. I feel like they are worth it, but the other ones are just so clean compared. But that said, it's the worm moon tonight. Look at this. Can hardly see it but there's a full moon full moon so peace out everyone see you in the next video these these last uh big pieces i decided to it was best to just wrap them in towels not even paper so i have a few towels here and a few more of the big boys okay so I'm a part of what is called a free cycle page in Ocean City, New Jersey. And I just saw this post. It's been two hours though since the post was made. So chances are a lot of this stuff could have already been taken. Here, I'll show you what was there right here. I'm not, I might have to take a chance on it and just go check it out really quick. Let's see how we do. taking my stuff right now so there is people here let's see what he does I feel like he's about to leave I thought I might actually be the first guy on the pick here but I'm not I'm just gonna drive around the block but yeah the alleyway is here but it's a dead end so it doesn't go all the way through but uh there's somebody in a white van he's pulling out right now it looks like a construction worker though doesn't look like he was a, a picker style. It looked like it was just someone that got off work and saw this stuff and then came and looked. Whereas I'm the kind of guy who's not just gonna pick what I want, I'm gonna pick what I can sell. It's crazy doing this though. You never know who's gonna be there, what the situation is. But we're here, all right, pulling up on the whole stash. So there is a lot of stuff left. So I think it was scenario two where basically a lot of this stuff already got taken. This guy took it all. He did not take all of it though. But let's see what we can still salvage here. It looks like there's still probably some good stuff. Look at this mountain scene right here. And this, that's actually pretty cool. Might have to take that. These board games could be absolute fire. Don't spill the beans. That guy, that guy literally came through and just took mostly everything of value. Here's some Christmas stuff though. I'll t maybe take this bin just to see if I can use any of it for the auction. Got the board games. Might, I don't know. They might not even be worth it, but. There was pickers on it that was still worth checking out because I know that there was a lot of decent stuff there to begin with. I just wasn't the one who got it. Um, I got a few things I could probably post in the auction. All in all, not that great of a pick. So just in the one couple minutes I was there, like five minutes. Oh wait, and then there's like two other people just walking up right now that are about to look. So yeah, this was the time and place to be putting out free stuff. So there's like this guy just parked right there, the other guy. And then the third lady, there's like 10 people just in like five minutes on that. This is like vultures and I'm one of them. Okay, so not much has uh, been crazy good from the storage unit, but it is kind of like the gift that keeps on giving. 
and you really do have to go through everything. Right, Finn? Look at this girl. What was that? Fuzzy? What? Here. But check it out. Let's see what's in the bag. So here we got a architect shirt. It smells new actually. Weco PA with the tag on it, but a little wee bit dusty. We got a Korean service medal. Okay, okay. Veterans of Foreign Wars sticker. County of Gloucester, New Jersey Military Service Medal for honorable service. That's pretty cool. A Liberty half dollar. 1971 so not silver you dropped them again and then we got the vietnam the wall american legion coin so these are indirect military medals i believe to be worn not really sure actually but that one's pretty cool let me just search that actually in a second if this was given to them by like the military itself or bought after the fact that's kind of what it looks like this is a new jersey national guard medal for service in korea and then okay so finn the moment we've been waiting for all right yeah that's a flashlight but here we go be careful around this this is dusty uh, you're probably going to be involved in the picking business i know you got to know what to touch and what not to touch. You can touch the keys, though. All right. Let's try this thing out, see if any of it works. And just hope that at least partially it works. You got some stuff? Oh, you found the tool. Oh, she found the little Bratz doll thing. Here's the other one, Finn. Here. That's yours, you can have that. All right, it's plugged in. I don't think it works, but hold on. Uh-uh, back up from it. Back up. Pretty much thinking it's, it's a done deal. The glass is broken here, so it made the whole thing not work. So all together there was lots of uh, drinking related items. And I'm assuming these are all just beer cups. Hogs glasses. Wow, this is a Dunkin', Dunkin Donuts cup. And that's an unmarked beer mug with a chip in it. So not really worth anything. Personally that one. What is in this bag though? This is weird. Is this a toothbrush? It's a straw, for real? That's a nice piece right there. Little flyers beer mug. Candy candle holder, candy dish. It has an anchor on the bottom. Actually, there's four of those. Just a beer mug. That's another one of those. Looking for ones with unique designs. Or sports team, stuff like that. Cape May Brewing Company. It's like a little Pyrex dish. It says Mexico on the bottom, so it's not Pyrex. The Alabama Crimson Tide license. That'll sell with the other ones. Coors Light. Bud Light. Coors Light. Is that the Jeff Gordon right there? Pretty sure. This is a cool Eagles cup right here. That's vintage. That'll sell good. I don't know about another Eagles coffee mug, Flyers coffee mug. So I could even do like Flyers coffee mug and beer mug, Eagles coffee mug and beer mug for the auction. Carrier and Ives, little Christmas theme. Jimmy Neutron, jelly jar that you would convert into a little drinking glass. Another one of these. That's it for that. This is a camel. I'm calling these sleigh bells. But this is definitely a camel bell, that one. 
These are going to be coming up in the April 5th auction with the Christmas stuff, as will some other items that are unrelated to Christmas. After that, on April 19th, which is going to be two Fridays after the Christmas auction, we are going to be doing the Storage Madness auction, which is going to feature an array of different items from this storage unit and other stuff we've had already. And I'm going to start building that auction now so that it can be nice and juicy by the time we actually do it. And that'll feature the flyer stuff, the eagle stuff, eagles uh, t-shirts, other flyers t-shirts, that eagles long sleeve. Um, just all of the stuff from the storage unit that's small enough to sell in the auction. And then just like other stuff. I have a few nice pieces of crystal, some more plated silverware sets, and a whole bunch of just other stuff. DVDs, maybe VHS tapes, uh, sports cards. These, this pack of gaming books I think I showed. The Xbox manuals. All kinds of different stuff in the process of editing a video right now sitting on my couch editing away and i'm getting messages about this trunk so the first one i just messaged him back and i said i'll let you know look at real <laughs> she's not this cute <laughs> she hunts the birds out the window from there and then i got a second message asking for the dimensions of the trunk i'm gonna get the dimensions right now because two messages one message doesn't get me excited but two messages on the same product gets me excited so here it is and honestly the trunk underneath this so if they took all this off and refinished it the trunk itself is actually pretty nice masterpiece an art auction game death by diet So these are all the games I found in the trash yesterday. Well, the curb alert. It was like a free a freebie alert. But I don't know. Pretty cool. And then this is some old Christmas stuff, which some of these will be sellable, but I think for the most part, it's probably not anything great. That stuff was picked over thoroughly this is a nice cooler for somebody that is maybe living out on the street or something when we did that drop in philadelphia they would have loved that maybe some of this can be used in packaging well actually maybe i should just take this out oh yeah i forgot it was filled too all right we got stuff on stuff put them down on all right what's the plan here the plan is to grab all the snow babies that are dirty, dirty, put them on something like that, plywood or something, and then spray them down, let them soak all that gook off, and then get the hose and spray them down. Hopefully and then so. sell. But we don't have a nozzle because Turner lost it for the hose. So She's we're in there. So now we have a morning dove Damn. nesting in the top of the coin pushing machine. I'm not going to get close to her, but she's just looking at me like, I guess we can't sell it until she hatches her babies. So the best thing about what you just said is, they're already on a piece of wood. Oh, really? All we got to do is just both pick it up, Ooh, okay. like teamwork, Aww. and then bring it out. Oh. Yeah. Is it on? So he forgot that he screwed the piece of wood to the table. Just pick up the whole table. Yeah, let's do that. I, I drilled it to the table so it wouldn't move during the, like, because I had stuff on here for the auction. All right, I'm just gonna oop, put you right here. It's just, this is gonna be kind of heavy. Hmm, maybe. Boop, 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 You got it? Yeah. Right. You sure about that? Ew. Let's keep on going. Watch where you're going. Ew. Set it down. And I'll spray it. Mm -hmm. Spray. 
right here. Actually, we could just do it here. Should we actually just move it over there a little bit? Yeah. And then we can do the whole process over here. Right here? That's fine, honestly, right? You sure? I would say that's fine. All right, so. Because it's not like we're using harsh chemicals anyway. So there's 140 plus snow babies in the good lot that I've already posted. I'm waiting to be approved to the Snow Baby Department 56 buy sell page on Facebook because I think that's where the money's gonna be at for posting it. But this is the secondary lot of snow babies that has crustoleum all over it. Yeah, we're gonna attempt to clean it. Sammy's Sammy's idea. I thought it was a great idea. I mean, this probably isn't, I mean, it's hydrogen peroxide. I don't know if it's the most gentle stuff, but uh, it's better than having someone's filth. Ugh. So they were either in a house that was... Somebody was smoking, I could smell it. It's like yeah. somebody was smoking inside of the house and, you know, not really cleaning. Or it was in a fire. Nah. I mean, it could be. I don't know. Doubtful. It doesn't right. smell like it. Smells like, it's, <laughs> smells like it was just smoke. I like that one. What's that term? Full. Ooh, shower. Bought the most expensive snozzle on the block. Let's see. Let's see what it does. Are we gonna, you're gonna spray them, but don't spray them off the table, right? Uh, yeah, so I'll shower them. Shower them down. Wait, what? No, that was full. Oh, yes. Oh, okay, hold on. That's all right if they fall over. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You see it? I mean, it's not like going to make them perfect, but I saw all the stuff starting to come off. So I'll do the vinegar next or another round. Oh, oh shit. One of them's uh... I feel like if you bait, like the person who buys them, yeah. put them in like I a... I didn't know one of them. Does that one light up? A container. Should I take the cord out of there? I'm pretty sure it's just the cord. Uh oh. Like, you can take it out or remove it. Oh, okay. You can buy another one of those. I should. Look at her. She's Maybe somebody was looking for just a specific Listen, one. Listen, be careful. To complete the collection, though. I mean, it looks like a whole different lot of them, yeah. even though they're still brown. The amount that came off is insane. Okay, okay here's a cool little sale here that's going to happen today. So see this? I guess it's ceramic. It goes in the front of your house basically as a decorative piece. When you would walk in the front door is what I would think this would be. So I found this in the trash, right, on the side of the road. It has a little bit of water on it. And there's a piece of tape on here. Maybe they had... Did they have a free sign on it, actually, maybe? So, I posted this a while ago, right? 
on Facebook and I just am about to sell it today. It's been sitting here for about a month. The only thing about items like this, it's I wouldn't say it's completely waterproof, but it did get wet and it's completely fine. So it's just been sitting out here in the gazebo for the whole time, not taking up really any room. The only thing is these sticks that go in it, they did get a little wet, but that's all right, they'll dry off. And for the price, can't really complain. I think it's $40 I listed it for. These are like two to 300 if you were to buy this new, maybe even more. So the cool thing about this is, not only that I got it for free, so I'm gonna make 40 bucks, but also the person who's buying it is gonna get an item they want. Obviously she's driving about 40 minutes to pick it up at least, uh, over 40 minutes. She's getting a great deal on it as well. It got saved from the landfill. I'm making 40 bucks. She's getting a good deal. So in my eyes, it's a win-win-win. But I'm literally just going to put this right here. Put the sticks in it. And just wait for her to come. So sold. Another thing I wanted to say really quick is I was calling it a trunk in the other video. The cedar chest. I, was, I do use trunk and chest. That sold for 30 bucks. All right, let's see. Let's see what happened. The pot's gone. And we got 30 bucks in the mailbox. I guess I agreed to give it for 30. I thought it was 40, but she did mention something about 30. And I said, yes. I thought she meant that she'll send 30 and give me 10 when she gets here. Either way, something I got for free, 30 bucks profit. I'm happy. All right, check this out. About to get the switch. The last one. Well, the OG one, this one. So if you come to the auction on Friday, you'll be able to win that. Somebody's gonna win it. But uh, now I'm debating on what I should get for a game to go with it. Super Smash Brothers. Mario 3D. I guess I'll do, uh, do you think that uh, Mario Party or Smash, Smash Brothers is better? Uh, it really just depends on the person. Smash Bros. is like a fighting game, Mario Wait, Party is more. Say it one more time? He's asking if Smash Bros. or Mario Party is better. Like for it, more people if would I'm play. I'm being honest, this one's pretty fun. I like it. I have it myself and my friends and I, we like get together and play. I like Super like Mario a board Party game and like it has many games in it. Yeah, I but like Super Mario Party better than this one, but oh, is really? that because it has yeah. more games in it? Well, so this one's like I Super Mario Party, Super, Super uh, Par Mario Party Superstars is like it has like old the old maps from like Nintendo mm -hmm. 64 and like mm -hmm. a couple of the older Mario Parties. This is like its own like game. It has its own maps and like everything. Because this one's a little bit more yeah. like restricted with like the maps and stuff you can play. Yeah, yeah, because you, you only have like yeah. five. I think. Yeah. This one, I mean, you have a little, I think you have like four or five still, but like there's a lot more other, like there's other mini games you can play and stuff. Like they have like the mini game mode, they have the rhythm yeah. mode, and they have like a raft mode, which is pretty cool. But that's like the I newest Mario Party. Silly, but I haven't played it. It's Just because we looked it up and he said it was like nothing like that one. Well, yeah, because everyone so like, like, a lot oh, of people no. like their original maps better mm -hmm. than like the, than the newer ones. Mm -hmm. Let's do the, this one. But I'm already tired of playing of the same maps. <laughs> Let's do the original maps. You want to do that one? Yeah. yeah. But the, the newer, newer one's a lot of fun. I played it all Oh, is that? Yeah. I'm going to play it. I bought it and I have this And one. I like that By one popular too, like demand. The, um, the characters have like their own like dice box too. Mm -hmm. They have like special like, uh, like stuff on it. Yeah. Like like Bowser has like that two tens and like a bunch of zeros and like some of them have like twelves on them. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's pretty cool. So this is like a three three hundred six seventy dollar value maybe. So someone's gonna get hooked up on this deal. Totally free. So those kids were like super epic. Those guys, and they told me to get this. Well, it was like a a toss up between this and Super Mario Party. And then I ended up picking up the switch. And this is as simple as this. Go to the link in the description, right? It'll be for the Christmas auction. So Christmas in April, it's coming this Friday. 
3 p.m. All you gotta do is sign up if you're not signed up already. You also will get like at least $10 free to spend if you sign up and then be at the auction. And from there, we'll tell you everything when the auction's going, but we're gonna be auctioning stuff from 3 p.m. to about 6 p.m. Friday. This Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern time, the 5th of April. Stoked, someone's gonna walk away with this, totally free. Check this out, just to shout this out. This is how accessible high quality aerial footage has become in 2024. You can go to Walmart and buy the Mini 2, which is almost the same drone that I use for $300. So the shots that I have featured in my videos, like this one, are shot on a camera almost exactly like this. So 300 bucks, that's crazy. Okay, thank you all for watching. So it really is that simple. Show up to the auction, be there when we give away the switch and you could win. Uh, we are always trying to find ways to give back to our community. And with our partnership with Drip, we've been able to give away a PS5, an xbox we gave away a dreamcast we gave away a lot of stuff mostly to our subscribers i think people from youtube won the majority of everything we've given away so show up and you could win and this is just an awesome win 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 for everyone so we win drip wins and the person who wins literally wins so be there Friday, 3 p.m., and the dream is real. Christmas in April. Merry Christmas. <laughs>